brilliant. Yeah. Real lifeline. Well done. Now, men's football, and it's the uh, qualifying round of the FA Cup this weekend. Head, um, Hensman Town will be hoping to cause a huge upset, but as Dan Salisbury-Jones explains, many at the club already feel like they've won the lottery. This is not the sort of luxury you expect to see in non-league football. Hensford have Premier League touches for part-time players, but there are many here who are just thankful to have a team at all. So Terry, you've been here for 30 years. Yeah. That's right. How close was the club to going out of business in that time? It's, re it's really the last three years, I think, from the Covid years. Um, when we started to have the lockdowns and things like that, it was uh, it was just a really difficult time financially. So it was um, it was really during that period it was it was pretty tough. In the next thirty years, well, the next thirty years should be a whole lot better, I think. So, <laughs> and the reason for that is the new owners, a couple who are not used to the limelight. In fact, this is their first interview, and it is a world away from their old lives. Um, for me, just school run, normal school run, housewife stuff, lunch dates with friends. Um, but now it's 24-7, football club comes first. I feel blessed. I've, um, I've had two great careers, really. Um, one in uh, video games, um, absolutely fantastic, 15 years of my life. Um, and this is the next chapter. A lot of people sat at home will be asking, why? Um, probably this time last year, Craig's nephew, Jacob, signed. Um, we like, love football, so I'll come to watch. Heard the club in trouble, thought about it, talked about it and thought, yeah, we can do it. We're just football fans at heart and um, the moment we walked in here, we fell in love with the club, didn't we? Yeah, it had a community feel that we thought it made us... First time we walked in, we felt really welcome by fans, staff. And you thought, this just feels... Like home, home yeah. yeah. A giant fan zone is currently being built and they're making the club more inclusive for all those who play here. A small but important change is turning the urinal into unisex toilets. And even those who get bad news from the manager are well looked after. Once you've left the changing rooms, you might be disappointed to find out that you're on the bench until you see the seat that you get. And then you might not want to come on at all. The players say to us how how loved they felt here and how much um, that they want to they want to do well for the club and it's a, a place that they want to play football. Who are they most scared of out of you two? Amanda. Definitely me. <laughs> I'm the good cop. You're the bad cop. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Good cop, bad cop. The players are reminded about past FA Cup glory at every match here, but even with the significant investment from the owners. This weekend, they are huge underdogs. They face Gateshead, a professional club, three divisions above them. How are your nerves on a, on a match day, particularly a big game like this? Yeah, not good. Um, tend to watch it from indoors. Um, yeah, not good. <laughs> Did you say you had a watch on the other day? Oh, yeah, recorded a high heart rate. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I do, um, yeah, <laughs> struggle. <laughs> We want to grow sustainably. It's not all about just putting money into the club and, you know, boom or bust. This is about making the whole club rise. We want to, we want to see some great football. Um, this is a long-term project. We, we see our next 30 years here, don't we? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's just all about, you know, having fun, letting the fans have fun and, and just seeing, seeing where it takes us. Yeah, growing, improving and hopefully move up the leagues. Who knows if any of the changes will be the key to success, but they've certainly brought hope back to Keys Park. Dan Salisbury-Jones, ITV News, Hensford. Well, firstly, their pitch looks absolutely stunning, and secondly, good luck. Yes, best of luck. <laughs> now, last